Atomic Learning can now be easily integrated into your online class. No more having to remind your students and colleagues about the training available at the Atomic Learning site. There's no need to go anywhere but your Blackboard course. Here's how it works. First, instructors can place an Atomic Learning module in a couple different places. Put it on the My Institution page for easy access. Just click Add Module and Add Access Atomic Learning. Float your pointer over the module and click and drag it to where you want it to be. Put a module on your online course's home page. Simply click Add Course Module, Add Access Atomic Learning, and place it. Once you click on that module, you'll be brought to Atomic Learning site, logged in seamlessly and ready to find the training you need. From Excel, to the Adobe Creative Suite, to Blackboard Tutorials. You don't even have to leave your online course. Atomic Learning is embedded within it. Second, you can provide specific tutorials to your students in the content area. Let's say you've assigned presentations for the end of the semester. To give students some guidance on their visual aids, you can incorporate Atomic Learning's Effective Presentations Workshop into that assignment. Go to Content, float your pointer over Build Content, and select Atomic Learning. Use the filters on top to browse the training and select the item you want. You can choose to include every tutorial in that series or workshop, or you can select specific tutorials you want your students to view. Click Select, and you're done. A folder will have been created, labeled after the training you chose, and when you go into it, you'll see the tutorials you selected. You can even make viewing those tutorials a requirement of the class. Go to a selected tutorial within a folder and click Edit. Under the Grading section, click Yes next to Create Column. Now when you visit your Grade Center, you'll see the required tutorial listed. Third, you can add Atomic Learning tutorials in discussion posts. Instructors can include tutorials to help out struggling students, and even students can post tutorials for each other. Just use the Add Mashup button in the Rich Text Editor, select Atomic Learning, find the training you're looking for, and choose the tutorial you want to share. And that's all there is to it. And lastly, you can incorporate Atomic Learning tutorials in tests and quizzes. When creating questions in a test or quiz, you can choose Add Mashup from the Rich Text Editor, just like in a discussion post, and choose Atomic Learning. It can be used as a helpful aid or for quizzing students on the tutorials. It's up to you. Incorporating Atomic Learning into your online course is going to make life a lot easier for you and your students.